What's going on everybody? My name is Jared here from Adeveru.com and today we're going to be going over some tracking tutorials. So the tracking software that I use for all of my campaigns and pretty much every single network is Volume. Today we're going to be talking about how to track Facebook campaigns using Volume and this is really helpful for affiliate marketing because we want to see exactly which one of our ad sets inside of our Facebook Business Manager is getting us the sale. Volume allows us to do just that, and I will show you everything you need to know to set it up. It's a little bit complicated at first, but they do have great documentation that walks you through all the steps, and I'm also gonna walk you through the steps as well. So, you know, the first time I set it up, it took me maybe an hour and a half, because uh, I didn't really understand what was happening, but every single time after that, you know, it takes me five minutes, five to 10 minutes to set up a campaign. In my opinion, this is 100% necessary to have a tracking software if you are doing affiliate marketing. Otherwise, you won't be able to see where your conversions are coming from. You won't be able to make accurate decisions on what to scale and what to kill. And a tracking tool like this will allow you to increase your ROI way more than if you didn't have one. So we're gonna hop right into it, but before I do that, I just wanna let you know that this video was made possible by the AFK Forum. Alrighty, so I am in my volume dashboard right now. I'm going to blur out and block out my uh, campaigns over there on the left. No hard feelings, but I'm sure you'll understand. So you're able to see a lot of different statistics inside of your volume dashboard. You, you can see how many people have gone to your landing pages, how many people have clicked through to the offer, and of course how many conversions you've got, and the amount of revenue that these conversions have generated. You're also able to set up cost parameters that will track how much you're spending on a daily basis. I normally don't do this for Facebook because I can just see it inside my Facebook manager and I'll just I and then I just manually calculate my ROI. Up here we have all of the things that we can create so we can create new campaigns, we can add in new offers and new landing pages, set up flows. Um, a flow is essentially you know just going from an ad to a landing page to an offer and if there's any other steps in between. We can add new traffic sources so we're going to add Facebook today and then we can also add different affiliate networks if we want to do that. Something handy I like to do is to come over to this conversions tab. As you can see, I don't have any conversions today, which is a little sad. But if we go, you know, say the last, say we go the last 30 days, I've generated about $1,300. And, and something I like to do is come over to this export tab and I'll just download all this data as a CSV file. And this just helps me visualize exactly how many conversions I'm getting, you know, per ad and I can see if things are profitable, and if they're not, then I just go and turn them off. Alrighty, so when you create your new volume account, or if you have one already, the first thing you need to do to set up Facebook tracking is come over to the Traffic Sources tab, and you're going to be already like preloaded with you know, Volume, DSP, and Zero Park, but you're gonna have to add Facebook as a traffic source as well. So all you have to do for this is New Traffic Source. You can scroll through here, and as you can see, Facebook is already here as Other Templates. So we can just select this and hit Load Template, and it's gonna fill in all of this information for us already. So if we scroll down on this, all this is already filled out, you know, we don't really have to change anything, which is awesome. And we can go over to these advanced parameters, and these are the things that are going to be tracked by volume, and then we can go back into our stats later on and see exactly, you know, where we can see all of this data, and it can really help us make informed decisions. We'll be able to see exactly which ad, ad set, and campaign things are coming from, um, so we can see we can either look at that from the ID number that is assigned to all of these categories, or we could just do the name, which is way easier. So whatever you name your ads inside of Facebook are also going to populate inside of volume. So you can see, you know, you can just connect the two and it's really easy to see where your sales are coming from. And then you also get the source and the placement as well. These are just more stats that'll help you make informed decisions. So now that we have this, we can just hit save. I already have it, so I'm not going to save mine, but so I have my Facebook traffic source. The next thing we'll do is we'll come over to campaigns and of course we have to create a new campaign. So hit the new campaign button and you can just start with simple. So the first thing you'll do is you'll select this traffic source and we just set the Facebook one up so it'll populate right there. And let's just say we were running this in the United States and then we'll name this. So this is what the campaign will eventually be named. It'll be called Facebook United States Test. I normally don't do anything with Facebook with the cost model. Um, because like I said, I'm not tracking the ad spend in here. I'm tracking it in my Facebook ads manager. So, but here are the options that you have for that. We're going to use a, a path 
destination. So when I'm running my Facebook ads, I'm running them from the ad to a landing page to the offer. So all of this data needs to be passed through all those steps. If you're not using a landing page, then you can just hit the direct linking button and the lander will go away. You really only have two more things that you have to do. First, you have to add in your landing page and then you have to add in the offer. So let's create a new lander right here. And I just changed my country to Australia. So if you're wondering why, I just, I had a bunch of United States campaigns and it's just easier for me to show an Australia campaign because I have none of those. So we'll name this again, test. And so what we have to do is if we're sending these people over to a landing page, then we have to provide the landing page URL. So I use ClickFunnels for all my landing pages. So what I would do is I would just grab my ClickFunnels landing page URL, paste this in, paste it in here. So just pretend that my landing page was google.com. We would paste that in there and then you can hit save and you're all set. Next, we have to create an offer. So again, we will do this. And now you have to enter in your offer URL and your offer URL is essentially just your affiliate link. So let's say, for example, I was running a max bounty offer. So here's just a random max bounty offer that I found. And so let's just build our affiliate link and we'll just hit social raw link. And so here's our affiliate link right here. So we'll take this, go back over to volume and just paste this right in here. But we're not done yet. We also have to add in the click ID URL token at the end of this. So this is exactly what's gonna pass the variables from one step to the other. So if you didn't have this, you know, they would click on your Facebook ad, they would go to your landing page and all the data from Facebook would be lost. We wouldn't know which ad set it was. We wouldn't know which campaign it was. So each affiliate network might have a different tracking parameter. Max Bounty uses the S2 tracking parameter. So what you would do for Max Bounty is you would just add it and S2 equals, and then this click ID right here. So this is gonna pass the data that we had from Facebook through our landing page all the way to the offer. And when conversions come through, they will come back over here to volume once we set up our post back URL, which is this next step right here. So we're gonna take this post back URL. The post back URL is what sends the data from the affiliate network back over to volume. So we'll copy this, go back over to Max Bounty. Down here at the bottom, you have your pixels and your post backs. So you select the post back type as URL and just paste in that, and just paste in that post back URL that you were given before. Now there are a couple variables that you have to replace. So everywhere it says replace and optional and optional, you replace these with the specific variables for that affiliate network. So for Max Bounty, remember the CID is the click ID. So you would fill in this variable like this uh, with the S2 click ID. And then the payout, this is rate. And we don't need the TX ID. So these are max bounty specific variables. You know, if you're using a different affiliate network like Big Bang Ads or Affiliax, you know, these are gonna be different based on which affiliate network you're using. So I would just save this pixel right here. And now all the data will be sent back to volume once we make conversions. All right, so all you gotta do is hit save right here and you can save this up again. And there's really only one more step and that is to create our Facebook ad and get our campaign URL into our Facebook ads. So I'll hop on over to my ads manager and we'll just create a new campaign real quick. And this is a campaign that I was creating for a different video. So we'll just use this right here. Um, so essentially, you know, we'll fill out all our ad information just like we normally would. When we get to the ad step, instead of just putting in a regular website URL, we have to build a URL parameter. So in the website URL, we'll come back over to volume and just copy this campaign URL. Go ahead and paste that into the website URL. But wherever you see this first question mark, you know, this is adding some of those extra variables like the ad set name and the ad set ID onto it. So we don't want this here in the website URL. We're gonna add those in later. So we'll take this off for right now. Now you have to go in and manually add those parameters. So like I said, I like to use the ad set ID and these just pop up right here, which is really nice and you can use the ad set dot name. There's that. And then if you wanted to add more like placement, then you could add that right there as well. So that'll hit apply. So now when anybody clicks on this link from your Facebook ad, 
the data from P Facebook will be passed through every step of the process. Alrighty, so that's all I got on volume and Facebook tracking. Like I said, it's a little bit complicated at first, but after you do it once, it gets a lot easier after that and you can start using this on all of your Facebook campaigns. So there will be a link in the description for volume. You'll be able to get a discount provided by Devaru through that link. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I will be sure to answer them as quickly as possible. We talk about volume a lot inside of the AFK forum and we even have a rep from volume inside of the AFK forum and she's able to answer all the questions that we may have. So with that being said, this video was made possible by the AFK forum. Are you struggling with your affiliate marketing business or want to take things to the next level? Allow me to introduce you to Dice University. Dice University is the number one affiliate marketing training platform in the world. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced affiliate marketer, Dice University offers you thousands of different videos with topics such as Facebook, volume, adplexity, and many more of your favorite topics. Step by step, you will learn the secret super affiliate ways to get the most out of each traffic source. Dominate each vertical with our detailed quick start guides. Are you ready to get started? Click the link in the description to sign up today.